second question is uh, whenever I pray, pray Tarawih with my family, you know, uh, after, uh, yes, whenever I pray Tarawih, after two rakat of Tarawih, uh, my father say, yes, my father say, my family says some duas, which I don't know. And also, uh, after finish the Tarawih, they, they, they raise their hands and make dua, you know. And then they pray with her like uh, the Hanafi, uh, the, like Maghrib. Uh, what, what should I do? You guys pray at home together? Yes. Okay. And who is leading the prayer? Uh, the Aisha prayer sometimes myself. Uh, and then my brother's uh, Tarawih. And then uh, with my, uh, another, uh, uh, my other brother. MashaAllah, that's very lovely. So basically, you and your siblings lead the prayer and your parents are praying with you in the same house. Uh, I assume that you're not nearby any masjid. Am I correct? Yes, yes. Uh, the, the closest masjid is 15 kilometers away from, uh, from oh, where I live. Okay. So what you're doing is absolutely amazing. You guys pray in jama'ah, you, your parents, and your siblings. And, uh, you know, you take turns, you and your brothers, in leading the prayers, this is amazing. If, I go, if I'm going to tell you right now, the sunnah is to pray two rakahs by two rakahs and take a break in between. You want to do istighfar, you want to do tasbih, you're free to do this. You want to supplicate, no problem. You're free to do this. And after you finish the taraweeh, if you want to supplicate, it's also permissible. What is not prescribed is doing it in a congregational fashion as if it is an inseparable part of the prayer and making it as if it is sunnah while it is not sunnah so in this case if your siblings if your parents are following whatever madhab but alhamdulillah by the end of the day you're praying according to the prophet's prayer and in addition to some practices which are perceived as innovations their prayer is valid your prayer is valid do not dispute with uh, with them do not cause any discord between you and them alhamdulillah you're doing the sunnah and hopefully inshallah gradually they will do it as well so once again whenever i'm praying and between two rakahs the imam is pausing so i make istighfar or i supplicate individually there is no problem whatsoever alhamdulillah and then after the prayer if i sit by myself supplicate there is no pri uh, there is no problem in that as well the problem is in making it appear as if it is part of the taraweeh prayer and deliberately making it in a congregational fashion on a regular basis as far as the witr prayer we've discussed this tons of times and we'll make it ton and one more time which is it has been narrated that the prophet sallallahu once prayed the three rakahs all together the five rakahs all together and the seven rakahs all together with no tashahud in between only one tashahud and tasneem by the end in Dupak they call it Durood Sharif at tashahud uh, also the messenger of Allah peace be upon him prayed with in the following format two rakahs tashahud or Durood Sharif and tasneem then one rakah by itself and the Prophet ﷺ ordered not to pray Maghrib and Witr alike, not to resemble the Witr to the Maghrib prayer. This is a format which some of the, our brothers in the Hanafi school of thought, they pray Witr similar to Maghrib. Obviously, after I know that the Prophet ﷺ disliked that, I shouldn't be doing it. But there are some people who insist, if he is leading the prayer, pray behind him. And you're not blame worthy. Barakallahu feekum.